My name is Gavin Evans and this is my ranking of John Hillcock's filmography from worst to best. Now I picked him as a director to marathon his movies because I haven't seen most of them before, I've heard great things, and I thought he could be an underrated director that I bring to people's attention, but if you've been watching my reviews, you'd know that was not the case. I do not like him as a director. He's got grit, but his scripts are always lacking. He almost always wastes a great cast, and his movies are just as boring as they come. So his worst movie is Triple Nine. This movie should have been great. You've got a terrific cast filled with great actors, but especially Casey Affleck, Aaron Paul, Kate Winslet, and though get given nothing to work with, all the characters are as flat as they come, the story just feels as generic as possible, and not a single action scene stands out. Like, come on! This movie had all the potential in the world, and that's what makes it so frustrating. And it's just a movie I'm never going to watch again, that's for sure, and I'm probably never going to think about it again either. There's nothing about this movie that stands out. So that's why it's his worst movie. But just a little bit better is my third favorite John Hillcott movie, and it's Lawless. Just like Triple Nine, you've got yourself a fantastic cast with names such as Tom Hardy, Guy Pearce, Gary Oldman, Jessica Chastain, Dane DeHaan, and Shia LaBeouf, and you just race them. Now, Shia LaBeouf does actually bring a little bit more entertainment here, but it is still incredibly boring. There's nothing about this script that stands out, and it just feels like the part of a TV show that I wouldn't continue watching. So, yeah, hated it. That's why it's his second worst movie. My second favorite John Hillcott movie is The World. Now, I hate this movie. I think it's trying way too hard to be depressing, you know, and it's not handled in an effective manner, it's not ingrained in the story or characters, it's just like, hey guys, what if there was no food, wouldn't that suck? And it's just that idea dragged out for an entire movie. And it's as boring as it comes, I kept waiting for something anything to happen. But nope, the characters are completely unremarkable. So it's just not a pleasant watch. The only reason why I'm rating it at number two is I do like the look of this movie. I do like the music in it. And even though I'd never watch it again, the premise is at least memorable. Not the movie, the premise. So that's why it comes in at number two. But my favorite John Hillcourt movie is The Proposition. Now, I still don't like it. I think it's bad and boring. But the music is very good. I like the look of the movie. And the performances by Ray Winstone and Emily Watson are legitimately great. Easily the two best performances of any of his movies. And on top of that, I did find their characters to be compelling. Now, everything else with the three brothers, not as much. But this movie, out of all of his others, has the most good in it. But I still wouldn't recommend it. So, yeah, I don't mean to be overly negative, but that's the way it just happens sometimes. But have you seen John Hillcoat's movies? What's your ranking of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin, out.